Hi guys, it's Jillian Harris and I'm gonna to talk to you today a little bit about our digital store. What is a digital store? So our digital store is basically a place where you can purchase things that Team Jilly has created um, and they're all downloadable items. So what kind of things would you wanna purchase that are downloadable? Well, first and foremost, we have our photography presets. The second item that we have on our digital store are our prints. And I'm gonna show you just simply how easy it is to get these prints from your computer onto your wall. So grab a cup of coffee and or a glass of wine and let's get started. I'll have coffee today. Wine, I'll talk to you later. So I'm gonna be doing this on my computer. You can do it from your phone, but in order to make sure that you have the highest quality of image being printed, I would recommend going to a computer to do this. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead now and choose um, a really beautiful fine art photography print that uh, Rochelle and Shay uh, shot together, just absolutely beautiful. Um, we're gonna just go ahead and add these to our cart super easy. So once you've checked out, you're going to receive an email. That email will have a link and uh, once you click the link, you'll download your new print files. You're going to download those files to store on your computer just as you would your favorite picture of you and your glass of wine. Cheese! Our next step is to source a local print shop to send the downloaded images to. One of the most frequent questions we get is, where should I send my files to get printed? So we usually suggest reaching out to a local print shop as they'll be able to help you pick your preferred material and will print true to color. Today I'm gonna to send my files to a company we use often here called CanCAD and I'm gonna ask them to print on a foam board. The reason why I usually print on foam board is if I don't wanna use glass. Why do I not wanna frame with glass? Sometimes this is a seasonal print, sometimes it might be going over the kid's bed, it's also less expensive to print without glass and if you are getting into the blogging industry and planning on taking photos of this piece, there'll be no reflection, which is really nice as well. So um, if you're planning on framing your print, I would ask them to print on a high quality art paper. But if you wanna do like we often do, print on a foam board. If your printer doesn't recognize the term foam board, you can also ask them if they have a product called Sintra or if they have a product called Comatex. So those are both brands of foam board um, and always ask for a satin or matte finish so you don't get a glossy finish. So as for sizing, try to Remember, if you plan on framing your print or if you plan on having a mat on your print, that is gonna affect the overall size of your print. So um, if you do get it printed, say by 16 by 20, and you get a frame that's say yay big, that's gonna increase the size of your print by probably three and a half, four inches on either side. So make sure you take that into consideration when you're measuring the wall in which you want that print to go onto. Once I've sent my email to the team at CanCAD, I'll wait for an email confirming that they're ready to pick it up. Also, I wanna say, if you're having issues figuring out how to get these printed online, find your local printer, give them a call. Um, oftentimes, I find I'm not that tech savvy, so I'll just Google local printer, I'll find the one that has the most stars, and I'll call them and I'll say, hey, I have a digital file here that I'd like to get printed for art purposes. Are you able to do that? Yes or no? Great, I'm also thinking of getting it printed on a foam board instead of a fine art print because I'm not gonna frame it with glass. Are you capable of doing that? Yes or no? So those are some questions that you can answer. Great, now how do I get that file to you? And oftentimes they will give you an email address or they'll give you the steps on what their company uses uh, to upload files and then print them. But I often find just getting on the phone with somebody, they'll walk you through it and really make it easy. This is their business. This is what they do every day. They print files every day from businesses, whether they be posters or billboards or art or business cards or menus or pamphlets. This is what they do and they're here to help you. Looks like the prints are ready. Let's go. Oh, no, gotta leave my wine here. So now that we're at the print shop, we're gonna go pop in, pick them up, and then we're gonna head to my favorite framer in town, Robert's Custom Framing. So we dropped over prints about a week ago and we chatted about which frame style we wanted. Let's go back to the house and style these new prints. Okay guys, so this is the final product. It absolutely looks so good. What I love about this print in particular is this looks like something that would be taken in like Italy or Greece, but this was actually an old hotel down south right here in BC. So this is right from our backyard. I love that it has those like European vibes, but it also is our Canadian roots um, and was shot by Team Jilly. Um, printed, framed on the mantle, looks amazing. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this answers all of your questions about downloading, printing, framing, and styling. Um, I wanna see how you guys are styling your print. So don't be afraid to take us on Insta at Jilly Digital and we will be resharing your art and how you styled it.